That's it. Uh, let me see. Do we have enough things that I can break down into iron? We do not. I do not believe. Uh, you can just, with your bare hands, scrap iron ore into iron. Don't ask why. You just can't. You just pummel it until it melts. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Yeah, it, it's a super inefficient way of doing it. You do not get much out of that that exchange. So I don't recommend doing it, except right in the beginning. Uh, but I'm going to make some bandages as well. I'm going to make five regular Good bandages. Stuff. It's going to take me a few seconds to make the iron. Now with that, I'm quite hopeful that I'm going to be able to make, there we go, an iron reinforced club. Perfect. Uh, do you want me to make one for you, Shilab? I would love one, yes, please, ah, if you can. Damn. Don't I worry if you don't have enough. Soon. Yeah, it's it's going to use 100 iron, so unfortunately I can't. No, that's but I can fine. make a regular wooden club that is going to be slightly better than the one you've got. Oh, that would be fantastic. So I'll pop these in there. Um, I can make better... More or less everything I make now will have will be a slightly better quality. Uh, so with that, uh, I'll probably make a stone axe as well. There we go. And then I'll scrap this one. There we go. Right, and I will pop the uh, your club into the chest as soon as I can get in Oops, there. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I was just waiting for you to, to be out of it. Uh, there you go. I'll also make you another stone axe as well, because that's a useful tool to have, have at a higher level. Yeah, that would be really handy. Um, I'll just pop her on the floor. It'll so what is the plan for today, then? Well, what I would say, do? shall we finish off clearing out this place? Yeah. So that it is an actual. Yeah. So we've got the whole the whole thing to ourselves, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll dig through here and into this little area back there. Of course, you had the smarter idea of going through the cardboard box rather than through the wooden defenses. Uh, we still got to get through this. Can big we get? Desk. Is that metal? It's three hundred. Yeah. Kind of annoying, but all right. We could just go through the door up top, but you know what? No, between the two of us, we should be able to just tear this down fairly quickly. Yeah, the thing is, if we have the whole place like open, then we can use the whole thing, I guess, you know, without having to go outside. I'll just take this down there, yeah. Right, we've got a seal the door there. We've got various trash piles over here. Oh, we've got a can. Excellent. Now we just need some water to put in the can, and then I can start purifying Wonderful. it. Paint more bullets. You can paint all sorts of textures onto items. Uh, so you're not stuck with only the types of items that exist in here. Uh, you can make them look like all sorts of things. Like if you've got a, a wall, you could paint a, uh, a non-functioning uh, kitchen cabinet texture onto it if you were trying to make uh, you know, a more interesting looking kitchen. Though, honestly, with the kitchen cabinets, you can make cupboards. Yeah, this so level looks clear. It'd be a bit silly. Uh, we've got some sort of room back here. Always check above when entering any room. Also check the corners. There we are, we're fine. It's very high. The points of interest in this game are... Ooh, there's a lot of ammo in here. Points of interest in this game can be quite uh, deceptive. I have found a fireman's axe and another anvil and an iron door. Well awesome. done. Now, if I was uh, a scallywag, I would hide something between uh, behind these boxes. So let's have a look. I, uh, sorry, there it is. Uh, it had nothing in it. Never mind then. But that fireman's axe is a lot better than the stone axe we have. In yes. In terms of... Um, cutting wood. It's, it'll just do a lot more damage. Uh, so let's see that. In fact, I can quickly demonstrate that. If we have a look, melee damage of 26 versus a melee damage of 10, block damage of 21. Okay, I got all the way 52. up to the top without seeing anything. Really? Yeah. So that place empty the whole time? We were just cowering in the basement and there was nothing up there? Yeah. Nothing? There's a couple of. Um boarded up areas that go on to what seems to be like a balcony or something outside. I haven't okay. been out there. Maybe you could go and uh, hit them with your fireman's axe. Yeah, sure. Many of these places... Oh, there's uh, shirts, some better hoods. The lockers have quite a lot of stuff in them. I was, yeah, I wasn't really oh, looting yet. I was more just like checking there was nothing there first. 
Okay, so the lucky goggles increases the loot bonus. This is equivalent to uh, having one tier in the lucky looter skill. So I'm definitely going to be wearing those. And yes, it's going to make me look dumb. I don't care. <laughs> uh, padded hood. Now this is stamina. Uh, sorry, uh, stamina. This is armor. So it can ha it has a lot of different qualities. Um, it's got higher durability. The what I'm currently wearing has 180 less durability. It has no durability. Um, but it is more resistant to cold and heat. Armor typically doesn't have very good um, resistances like that. Um, this is generally just a, a much better item to wear. So I'll pop that on. Oh, look at that. Marvelous. Also, it's a level two. Uh, the more level something has, the more you can put mods on them, uh, which is kind yes. of important. I've got a shirt. I've also got a BDU top. The shirt has got equivalent heat resistance. It's just a just a piece of uh, clothing that has no armor, but the BDU top is a lot better in every way. So uh, I'm going to be wearing that, and then I'll scrap this one. A lovely view out of this window. I've got a flannel shirt for you, Shilab, if you'd like. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, great. Well, I don't know where you are because there's to... too many stairs. I'm just down the stairs. I'm You're coming down from me, okay. Here we are. You can have the BDU top if you need it. Right now, the only thing it would really help with is uh, our heat and cold resistance, but yeah. for the time being, that isn't strictly necessary. Oh, wow, there's a double reinforced. Oh, no, never mind. I was wrong. It looked like it had uh, planks on either side. I mean, it does, but it looked like that. Damn it. Looked that that was going to be a bit of a problem. We've got some window panes. Which Did will be you useful. go all the way up to the top? Yeah, I dug my way out. Okay. Currently looting up here. Got a couple of window panes, which means we can make some windows later on. Nice. Should we need to, but there's really nothing much up here. Good view of everything around, though. But I would say uh, it's time for us to be on the march to the next trader. Yeah. Let's grab these chairs on the way. I that find that know. picking up chairs is always worth it. Right, so on the map, we can just mark this as like a safe haven. Uh, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A cleared place for, for now, anyway. Got a little bedroom in here, but yeah, that's a good good call. Let's pop a little map marker down here. Save waypoint. I'll put a little house there. Camp home. Bunk. I mean, the, the bedrolls themselves will show uh, up on the map. But having if we move bit, them, then we know it's still here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Having a little bit more information there available for it is never a bad thing. Okay, well, I'm downstairs. Uh, I'll be waiting for you. Again, I strongly recommend picking up any chair, whether wooden or yeah. leather, because you can just go into your inventory and then scrap it, and you'll get the the result from that so much faster uh, than breaking it down. Okay, I'm right. downstairs next to you. Okay, I'm going to drop things off into the uh, the cargo box. Mm -hmm. We can also come back later for it. The same. Yeah. Uh, well, if nothing else, we can combine stacks, and then we can carry yeah. more of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's going to be a while for, before I can make things like pickaxes, unfortunately, which is a pain. Take my bottled water. I can, however, make some more bows, I think. Can I scrap my lamp claim block? That doesn't do much though, does it anymore? Can I don't think do you anymore? can scrap it anymore. You used to be able um, to, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, so is, if that's all um, amalgamated together, I'll just take a, a row of it, shall I? Yeah, by all means. Uh, I'm going to put some bandages on my hotbar. Uh, Shilab, I'm going to drop three bandages at my feet. Thank you very much. I'm also going to drop a bow at my feet for you. Oh, lovely. There you go. There we are. That didn't encumber me too much. No, it hasn't encumbered me at all. That's good. Can I make a leather poncho? Yes, I can. There we go. Working on a poncho as well. Oh, great. Thank you. Uh, right, let's grab everything out here. I'm going to be a little bit encumbered, but that's fine. I still have, if you're going to be encumbered, I still have one slot left. 
Uh, actually, yeah, that will that will be quite useful. Drop something. Well, actually, technically, I I can just scrap some things down a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so that I've got room. I I should be fine. I should okay. be fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, as soon as this leather poncho is made, I'll drop it on the floor for you because I've got better equipment right now, in general. Yeah. So uh, if we just uh, make it outside. Did I automatically wear it? Because hmm. we got a long way to run to this uh. This here trader. Oh, there it is. Right. Okay. Where are you, Sheila? Just outside the door. Okay. Let me drop this puncher down for you. Thank you it very much. It will offer cold resist and heat resist. So on a, in a desert run, that will be very useful. Yes. Okay. And as soon as you're ready, we'll make a move. Just popping that on. Poncho! There we are. Okay, so I would say we we just keep moving towards the uh, trader until about 5 p.m. Then settle down on another. Yeah, base, and then we'll maybe. see what we yeah see what we can find around there. Um, do you have? I'm counting 69 papers. I don't think I really need to bring those with me. Still, uh, I'm actually going to take a moment to harvest some corn. Okay. Yeah. Just because eventually we can then make a the start of a corn farm. I was running back to you and I drew it on a cactus. Destroy it. I know. Got to assert dominance. Show sure, who's boss. Indeed. I don't even know where right, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you wouldn't want to just randomly attack a, a, a possibly wrong, innocent cactus. Yeah, so, the wrong yeah. cactus. Exactly. Just wrong of you. Horrible, in fact. Uh, right. I'm gonna scavenge things on the way, me as well. Well, actually, no. She loves getting yeah, really don't... far ahead of me. Yeah, don't do it. Do too much scavenging, because otherwise you're just gonna end up too encumbered. Yeah. Uh, what I can do though is make a load more arrows. And that's useful. Uh, birds' nests are always worth gathering from, though. They will never not be worth it really. Additionally, now I've got a uh, pickaxe. Oh, iron pickaxe for me as well. Nice. Oh, fantastic. Just got it off a zombie. Very nice. We'll do a little bit of gathering over here. I should be able to get you a... Uh, oh, a an iron, iron club. Reinforced club soon. That'd be so good, yeah. This is using up a lot less stamina to get a lot more materials because this iron pickaxe has a much higher block damage, so I'm... And, and the amount of materials you get is partially based on how much of the block you're destroying with each hit. So a stronger, more damaging um, tool will gather m more items faster. Uh, there we go. And thus, more items for less stamina. Yeah. Uh, there we are. And I would like very much to continue making all of the arrows I can. going to need some more trees now, though. Uh, there is a zombie nearby. I can hear her. I can't quite tell where it is. I she can, is though. There's one over there I can see. I don't know if that's the one you're hearing. It's a male zombie, though. There might be a male zombie that I was hearing. Uh, I can't tell it even. There we go. And then I am in close club. Let's get you on the go. Right, I'm just making a bunch of arrows for now. Uh, should we continue on the run for a bit? Yeah. He dropped some loot too. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. Bottled what water. Bottled water, two. A can of cat food. Shotgun shells. Something else. Very nicely done. A bit encumbered now, though. A little bit. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit encumbered as well, but uh, we should be fine. I'm going to replant that. It's not, uh, not damage nature as we're rolling through. It You're is, so it diligent. Is, well, I mean, you know, the, the world has, has gone to hell. Most of the human race has been destroyed. Uh, that kind of behooves us then to, to start again and to, to do a better job this time. So let's not have any bad habits. I see. Also, there is a zombie tur tourist over there. That I would like to try and. You want to try and beat up, move. okay? 
Right, there we go. And pop. Punk. Bit of extra damage there. Always worth taking the first shot from sneaking because you do twice as much damage with it. Um, headshots are still worth going for even if you don't have the perks. Butt shots, much less so. Butt shots are funnier. Yeah. They kind of are, but it's a lot of resources. Okay. He's down. Yep. Got a lot of arrows in him, too. Decent amount of EXP there. Right, I've got your Iron Reinforced Club. Oh, wonderful. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much. You're very, very welcome. Maybe break down the uh, wooden one, if you don't mind. Yeah. No, no, by all means. I only made that for you because I couldn't make you an Iron Reinforced. I've got spare slots now to put things. I'm only using one encumbered slot, so that's not too bad. Okay. I find the cr crawling zombies are always deceptively hard to uh, deal with for some reason. I have no idea why they're so annoying, but they really are. Because they've got a deceptively ill-positioned hitbox, and they've got incredible reach. Wow. Yeah, they do. They're getting crazy good loot drops. I know. <gasps> wow. That is a serious upgrade. What did you get? Um... A sledgehammer, a shotgun, shotgun shells, a pistol, and pistol rounds. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I would say wow. Um, do you have the pistol rounds? Yeah, I think I do. I think you I can have down. the sledge because you're a much better melee. Yeah, I'll drop I... you those 52 pistol rounds. You can also have the shotgun. Now, guns, as you can well imagine, super loud. So, it's not a high quality pistol. It's only a level one, so I can't mod it in any way. I have to get um, used to using the sledge though, because it get it's a bit different to the clubs. Yeah, it's a slow, slow swing that one, but uh, it does enormous amounts of damage. Well worth doing. Oop, that was a terrible shot. Wow, that, that was, was good. Uh, colorful. Okay, moving on. All right, we should probably just just make as much profit as we can, killing the zombies mm. where we find them. Um, because so far that's been pretty profitable for us. Been very lucrative, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go and take care of. I believe it's a Darlene. The zombies all have names. Some of them are super generic, like the zombie tourist or zombie cop. Uh, some of them actually have real names. That I'm fairly certain is Darlene. Might be Marlene. They're kind of comical though. Um, there's Darlene, Marlene. Um, there's uh, zombie. Mo, yo, bo, yeah. Just a bit of trivia because you don't ever see it anywhere in the game. I don't think it's just in yeah. The game people files. just like tell you. Uh, right, there's another zombie tourist over yonder. Let's see if I can get a sneak shot. No, oh, no, you don't. He was already aware of my presence. I can hopefully. Uh -huh. Oh wow. Complete miss. I am not getting a good. Uh... Where are you, Vulture? I don't approve. Well, getting up, I'm definitely not gonna miss. If I did, I give back my archery. I'm totally license. going for belly shots for this guy. Watch out, she up incoming. That's a bad shot. <laughs> nice hit. Very nice. Hit. <laughs> uh, do you have your knife on you? Get feathers. Um, I don't have a knife. Oh, on do you me. not have a knife yet? Oh, thought you had one. We, damn, I've been passing by so many things that I could have cut yeah. up to try and get the bone. Um, well, we're just gonna have to accept it and just get it with the up. yeah, get it with the simple. Got some feathers. Got twenty-eight feathers and two. That's all right. Granted meat, but... yeah. Yeah, we need to get some sort of bladed weapon. Um, it's a lot easier to have the right tools and things when you've not got your inventory full of everything you need to carry. You know, yeah. getting a base will be important. Yes, very much so. Still, managing to get a decent amount of uh, feathers and various items as we go. We're still 1.7 kilometers away now. This is not good. Yeah, us. well, we'll just keep an eye out. Once it starts to get about 3, 4 o'clock, 
start to keep an eye out for the nearby Move houses. Along the road because there's going to be There'll more, be more houses and things along there, houses, yeah. yeah. I can see one in the distance, I believe. Well, we'll maybe go for that then if we're not seeing many about. Yeah. Hello. Ah. And I think this is zombie uh, yo. Oh. That was a bit of a stun there. Incoming uh, vulture. Coming. Got me a bit though, unfortunately. I'll have to wait to heal up a bit. Okay. Uh, you take care of that, then I'll go deal with the zombie over here. Oh man. My aim is completely off for some reason. I have managed to pick up some painkillers. Awesome. Okay. Where was yeah. the uh, vulture corpse? Oh, I already. Uh, oh, you, you cut it Got it. it. Yeah, I cut it up for you. Uh, all right, let's pop that down there. Now, the regular bandages really only good for stopping your bleeding, whereas medicated bandages, which you make with aloe, um, are much better. They yeah. do all sorts of things. Um, they will actually improve your health. Quite a lot of the things in the game that restore health do it slowly. It didn't used to be that way. And it was a bit of a, a shock change when it happened because no one was really prepared for it. Um, nice. Oh, wow, we need more loot. Another pistol. Nice. And a beaker. Now that is a huge mm. deal. Right, this pistol is yours. I'll split our, my pistol ammo. There you go. It's 33 pistol ammo in there. Wonderful. That is amazing. They must have changed the, the loot drop rate. Yeah, because it, it was pretty low, wasn't it? So maybe they were like, oh, the zombies really aren't dropping anything at all now. Yeah. They went from dropping too much to too little. Yeah, it used to be that every zombie dropped something, which on the Horde Nights was just ridiculous because you spent the majority of the day following a Horde Night cleaning up. Um, which was, you know, not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but also not strictly speaking the best. Yeah. Um, Shilab, I think we should head back to the temperate area. Yes. And follow the road too. there because yeah. I don't want to go into Badlands. I don't Badlands go has a very high instance of mines and Which... vultures and things like that. So we'd be better off spending hey, the night somewhere dogs. else. Oh, 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 incoming wolf. Sorry for pulling that out there. No, 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 absolutely. I, you saved that, us. That is why you keep a pistol loaded. Now, all of the zombies nearby are going to be on their way. On that note, have you reloaded your pistol? No, I haven't, so I will do that right now. Okay. Got a bone. Now, the bone is going to be better, I believe, for gathering here. Uh, melee damage, power attack. Uh, it might not, actually. Um, block damage is four. Whereas this is... Almost in every way better. I, you know what? This might be better. So I'm just going to continue using this for, for breaking them down. Uh, but here's a, a bone knife for you, Shilab. Oh, thank you. If I'm just out and about, I can use uh, that. Here's two, actually, because I can just make them. I'll keep a, a bone on you. Okay, more and more encumbered, though, so I just right. need to keep an eye on that. I'm still yeah, running encumbered. fairly fast, but... Yeah, we've got a long way to go. And we need to find houses along this route. Yeah, we need shelter. Mm -hmm. There are houses down here. There's also a zombie bear, dear lord. That is not a thing we want to play with at all. No. Um, not even crack your shotgun just in case. Shotgun or pistol? Yeah, just in case. Because if that zombie bear spots us and decides it wants to play, that shotgun's probably going to be the thing that saves us. Not, not my, uh, not my dinky little pistol. Got a cooking pot though. That's good. Are there any other big zombies around here? No. Looks like we might be safe to move through here, but keep an eye on the floor. Yes. Mines. The biggest problem with this area isn't the fact that there are mines, it's the fact that the mines are so well hidden in this kind of like um, blasted debris. Yeah. Looks like we might be about to go through a, uh, a town. Yeah, so we may get somewhere that we can. There are houses more or less directly in front of us. Well, so I'm going to say 
Let's head for those houses. I'm going to be a little ways behind you and a little ways to the side. No, that's fine. That makes sense. If I do step on a mine, at least you won't be close enough to get caught in the blast. Makes perfect sense. Very wise, in fact. Hello, you. I wish to... Well, not miss. Mostly. There we go. The old one, too. Uh... Got a lot of ruined buildings here. Yeah. Can't see. Finding a, a, a whole one is going to be probably the the thing here, isn't it? I thought my I moused over a mine, but I couldn't make it out. I was very concerned. Yeah, parts right. in your mouth. Yeah, incoming vulture moving down. Up. Oh, got it. No. Yes. Right. Have you got? Uh, are you? Okay. Um, I don't see where it is. Um, 68 health at the moment. Okay. Um, have a look at these bandages. Uh, it gives max health of 15. You could use the bandage. But I am, I am ticking up. Remember. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you, you are recovering health. So, naturally. as long okay, as I just, fine. you know, stay out of trouble for a bit, I'll be alright. Okay, it seems that right now the only things that are going for you are the vultures. Yeah. There we go. That one might be heading on over. We've got a trailer. Well, we've got a couple of trailers there. It's a trailer park of some sort, it looks like. Um, and there's some houses just over there as well. That might yeah. Be. Might There's a house that's under construction. Oh, no, it's a garage that's under construction, I believe. Oh! Damn it! Moving in. Oh, Sorry, I nearly hit down. you. Gee. No, no, I, I probably shouldn't have gone. You said ball. moving in just as I hit with the uh, sledge. <gasps> that's fine. We are safe. There's no another one, one coming in as well. From here. Okay, I got him. Problem with that is it's very, very hard to uh, aim for them. Once they're once they're in close, and they are all going for you. You should use the bone knife rather than the. Uh, oh, I should have. I'm thing. sorry. I, I didn't have it on my hot bar. I need to sort my no, hot bar out a lot. Do you want to take a moment? We're somewhat safe here. Okay. Uh, how are we doing for our satiety? Food, water, doing pretty good actually. Food, oh. really good. Shockingly. I good. think it might give you quite high food and water just to start you off. I don't mm. know. That Maybe would make that sense because it's about the only way I can imagine it. Honestly, because that's that's crazy high. You've got to have the some fact... sort of starter buff. Yeah, it's more than likely because that is not really gone down. But there's a couple of uh, samples ahead in that that little um, house there. We could try and clear it. Yeah, I chunky think... house, but uh, might be better. They're incoming. Another vulture. vulture. Is he gonna move in? I suspect it's gonna move in. You got it. Got it. Ah, can't. It's so annoying that you can't um, switch your equipment. Weapon whilst you're zoomed in with an arrow. Yeah, yeah, like, it's it's frustrating. Super frustrating. It's so hard to tell as well why y your keys aren't being responsive. But uh, effectively, if you're zoomed in like that, I can't. I'm trying to switch my weapon. I'm like, what? Why? Why? Oh, that's right. I have to do that. Uh, I would love it if you could change it. There is a. That is a mine. Right there. Either a mine hub or... Hubcap mine. Or it's just a hubcap, but you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm not going to play. Oof. I'm terribly sorry, something else. Yes. I'll be honest, the, the that sound effect is like a, a weird kind of... Um, children's toy. With the notes, the, they're kind of distressed. I, f I forget the term for it, where the, where the key is, is, is the wrong somehow dissonant dissonant is it yeah but uh yeah really really not not nice uh, no isn't there another term musically it, like that 
It's in a you minor know, key, maybe? Um, no, no, it's that uh, certain notes go together well, and it, it's it's almost like angelic. There's a term that, that's kind of biblical in a way. And the opposite is when they're not quite the way you would expect them to be, and then they're awful. Wow, okay, this is an interesting point of interest. There's a pit there. Hmm. I'm not yeah, sure about that looks this. to me like it might go on forever. I don't know. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm also going to start sneaking. Switching to my. We could maybe secure arrow. upstairs. Oh. I'm just going to have to look around. Anything? Check the corners. Corners are secure. Okay, that looks terribly dangerous down there. Um, yeah, but where the pit? Hmm. But also, that could mean any of these tiles could give way. Yeah, do you want to find somewhere else? Yeah, let's find a different place, because that, that looks like... Ah, zombie! Oh no, oh no, yeah. oh, oh ah. Okay, okay, you get it, you get it. She's down. She followed me up the stairs. Oh, gee, that made me jump. You safe? Yeah, I'm safe. And I was crouched, so I couldn't even, like, jump off the railings. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we may... I don't see any obvious other houses that we could go to tonight. Mm. Problem is, this is our day two. It'll be day three by the time we get to the trader. That being said, I've built horde bases on day five. So we've got all the time. To yeah, to we're get fine. Over it. Uh, okay, thank you very much for taking care of that. Be careful with the floor here, though. What on earth went down down there? Every point of interest basically has a story to tell, I found. Yes. Something went on here. They dug down. Or something collapsed up here down into the basement. Well, Looks if we're like not staying were... here, we need to move because it's 7 yeah. o'clock. Um, we could follow that hole, the, the, it down, but... Or we can go into the house. The house is probably connected. Yeah. Or we can continue on the move. Do it you see anything like else any nearby? The uh, they, actually, there might be one. A small... Uh, maybe a trailer home could be. Sometimes the trailer homes are very difficult to get into. Yeah. Because the they massive have, like, house over there iron doors and stuff. I want to try and get into. No. Zombie dog spotted. I'm gonna go for a stealth hit. Not missed. Got it. Definitely on its way. And again. And again. Ooh, okay. Right, everything's gonna be on its way now. Uh, Sorry. That's fine. No, 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 that's fine. I would rather that than get. I was waiting for you to take it out, and I was basically covering you for an emergency, but it got really close to you, so. Yeah, no, thank you. I, again, sooner have you take it out with a noisy weapon than have it take me out with an infected wound. Can I just take you down, please? Thank you. I got another level. Level four now. Uh, we could possibly go up and spend the night on top of a roof. Yeah. It's not the best way to do it, but it's an option. Because it's getting on to eight now. I don't see many houses out here. We could chop down a tree, um, build a little base out of it. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, I think we might be best off doing that, actually. Oh, got a mini horde. You with me? Yeah, I'm with you. We could spend time fighting it, but that'll be spent time not spent building a base. Yeah. Incoming vulture. Uh, no, actually, it's moving away. Fine. Okay. Let's give that horde a wide berth for now. No, it is incoming. Assume... It is incoming. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Nicely done. Very nicely done with that kill there. Um, I'm past the mini horde now. The mini hordes are typically amazing sources of experience. But... If you're running out of time, probably not the best yeah. best thing to be playing with. Uh, hello. Let's take you down. Ooh. Popped head. I approve. And you as well, please. 
And while you're down there, there we are. Okay, there's no buildings really over here. Yeah. None that are going to be useful, but then that's that's what this area is like. Big old, yeah, they're all big old buildings. Um, okay, well, there's plenty of trees over here at least. So if we make a move, we can start, start them down. building a, uh, a base of frames. It'll be a very flimsy area, but it's better than nothing at all. So grab whatever's in here. A compound bow. Lovely. I think so, yes. Let's scrap you. Now, I'll actually have a site. And so I'll... Well, it still isn't exactly obvious when I'm not... Uh, when I'm sighting, but it's better than nothing. Right, actually, Sheila, we've got a tall building over here. I think it would be better for us to get on top of that. Yeah, okay. As long as we're up off the ground, it'll be a lot harder. Whoa. Zombie Cabot, what? I'm not doing good there. Ow. Moving in. Okay, got him in the back. Well done. I'm missing massively. Right? There we go. I am level four and have two skill points to spend. I need to spend the night just recovering my health. Well, you know, that's uh, good that you've got the perk. Right, I'm going to quickly swoop around, wipe out the zombies nearby, and then okay. we'll clear this area and climb up. We may have to build our way up, though. Gonna switch to my bow. Yeah, so it's good that I got a little bit of wood for frames and things. Yeah. Actually, There's I start a making frames. Of trees around. Um, well, let's have a look at what's in here first, because there may be a way up. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's not too much in here. Now, what we don't want to do is encourage anything to try and take out the supports from under us, because that whole yeah. thing could collapse. Yeah. There is physics in this game. Um, blocks have kind of like a, a mass that they can support. There's a dog behind that uh, pillar, that tree. No, the the pillar in the mound of rock. Oh yeah, underneath. I see, I see, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go up this because it does actually lead up. And from here, we can probably get up. Yeah, we can. There we go. All right, we're gonna want to seal that off so other things can't follow that same route. Yeah. So a couple of frames would do that. Yep. Are you good to do that? Yeah, I'm fine to do that. Okay. Uh, how much wood have I got? I only got 13. How much wood did you get? Um, I have left 41. Okay, I'm actually going to go back down and uh, chop down a tree or two. So that we've got some decent wood for things. Could you cover me? Just watch for that dog. Yeah. Cover you with a pistol then. Okay. Got very little time before night time. I'll just grab this one tree. And then we're going to try and get in through that door. In fact, at this point, you can start trying to break through the door. Break through which door, sorry? There's a door straight up there. If I break through that. Oh yeah, okay. Damn it, the dog. Oh. Uh, I told you to stop. Okay, I'm uh, out. I'm, I'm glad you didn't die. I'm so sorry. I, I no, 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 no. I, you were I, right. I literally told you to, to break it. That was on me. <laughs> Thank you, though. It's so sweet that you're so <laughs> apologetic. But that was my my fault there. Such hammer, good for getting through doors. Yes, yes this is yes. a nice sealed room. There we go. I've sealed off the means to get back up here, but there is a, a bit of the noise has attracted the zombies. So I'm gonna try and take you up, pump, and now you can see the main reason why the compound bow is so good. Taking off both of her arms. That is so wrong. Okay. Let's get in. I've sealed make a door? off that area. A door yeah. for this place? Yeah, I'll make a door for it. Um, I've got enough wood now to be able to do that. So. Cool. Uh, there we go. 
I've also got enough stones to be able to put something. It makes me sometimes wonder, like, whether it's actually a good idea to go to the trader, like, so early on sometimes. Why is that? Hmm? Why is that? Because it takes so long to, to oh, so yeah. get to them sometimes. Yeah. Right, start repairing the broken out windows, because you'll replace them with boarded up windows. Already done it. Oh, excellent. There we go. Perfect. Nice little room, this. Mm. Uh, I'll take away the trash, just yeah. so it's not there. Um, I do have enough iron to replace that door if I really wanted to, but I think we'll go without. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make another lockbox. Okay, just, that time is here. Just in time. We just got it done in time. Crouching. Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, I am crouching, actually. I'm going to put the chest above the door, and I'm going to unlock it. Right, just gonna drop everything off. Yeah, so we can just get everything. <laughs> Damn it. What found us? It might have just been something passing by, so just be quiet. The way the way this works is that uh, enemies if they're trying to pass through an area can sometimes just decide to just try and walk into it, like straight through a wall. Um, it comes down to a lot to the, the way the pathing works, and, and when we build a horde base, we will be building it around the quirks that the zombies have with the way that they will uh, navigate terrain. Um, we will absolutely be trying to make use of their bizarre habits. Uh, right, that should be okay for me now in terms of my inventory. Got lots of fat and other such things. I'm gonna make a. Let's see, a campfire. It's probably just outside. It's probably not actually trying to break anything. Yeah. It's just nearby. But this fire may draw its attention. I'm gonna place it about here. I'm going to start using the lockbox and putting things away in it. Okay. Now the fire itself is going to start drawing a little bit of attention. So hopefully whatever's down there will have skedaddled. It, oh, you know what? It could be. It could be a, a zombie above us because there was one more room to this building. Ah, possibly then, yeah. Right, I'm going to place the cooking pot. Do not let me forget that cooking pot. And as I've got a level of Master Chef, I can make some things. I can make some corn on the cob. I'm not going to do that because the uh, corn is worth more yeah. to me. Uh, I can make some bacon and eggs because I've got eggs and meat. In fact, I can make two. Now, that's going to require 32 seconds of fuel. One piece of wood will do that for us. Um, I can make some tallow. In fact, I'm going to make... Let me just double check. Is there a candles? How much is a candle fire? There's one tallow. I'm gonna take a point in uh, <laughs> while it's a uh, hmm? pack mule. Gonna take a ah, point yeah, in pack mule. Right. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some tallow. With the tallow, I'll be able to make candles. Now, all fires make sound. But the smaller the flame, like a candle still casts a lot of light, but it's practically silent. A torch, less so. A fire, very much less so. But right now I want to cook some things. I want to get some uh, good noms for us. Uh, the one fire is making the walls green. That is really eerie. I know it is, isn't it? Uh, the next bacon and eggs is yours, Sheila. Oh, thank you. Awesome. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and gobble this down now. I haven't checked on my stats in a little while. There we go. My food will now slowly go up, as will I believe. Uh, the, right now, we, we can see that I've got various perks. And one will of them my food and water go back above a hundred? Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely will. So that was quite a hefty meal that we just ate there. So that's gonna fill us up quite a lot. Um, and as a result of of having that, we've got health recovery for quite some time. Um. Because, I think it's because our food is above a certain amount. 
Okay, there we are. They, that uh, that stopped there. Uh, I think I'm gonna drink my water. That'll give me 20 water. So it'll put me back at uh, 100. This would also give me stamina if I was running out of it. Okay. And now as that goes up, just gonna use one drink. of the bandages you gave me for just to get my max health up. Yeah, of course. Now I've only got elemental protection for a little bit longer. Uh, it's based on how long you're in the game for. Uh, this protection will decrease as you gain levels, so think ahead. I still have an hour. Oh yeah, so is mine actually. It's probably that it just it decreases, like we're gaining extra elemental um, protection for the, the time being. Uh, right, that's everything done there. I'll grab the talent. Now a beaker would go in here as well and it would allow us to do some chemistry. Uh, I think antibiotics, for example, needs a beaker. Uh, Moldy bread, nitrate powder, and boiled water. Um, I could make some tea if I... Uh, I should have thought to, actually. Had I made some tea, that would have been much better. I can't make grilled meat because I don't have a grill. Um, can't make corn on the cob because, again, don't have a grill. Actually, no, no. Let me pop that in there. And it should that sounds like a building fell down or something. Could do. The zombies could be walking through a building right now. Wow. Again, there is structural integrity, so that will yeah. happen. Right, I want some candles. These are delightful little things. They take a, a little bit more prep to make. You need fat before you can make them, but they cast a decent amount of light. And again, they're practically silent, so they're much better for little stealth types. Now, obviously, we're not going to want to spend every night like this, just huddled up in a, in a corner trying to, to wait until the monsters go to sleep. Um, but as we're making our way through the game... Yeah, I think by tomorrow we want to be kind of thinking yeah. about where to settle down. Yeah. And building much. our first little sort of bunker or little shack or whatever we want to do to start off with. Yeah. Another thing to be aware of, if you walk over a lit fire, yeah, exactly It'll what you think will happen will happen. Yeah. Don't do it. It's dumb. Oh, my visibility is oh. up to 34 now. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. With see that is it doesn't tell you what how you'd be detected. Mm -hmm. You'd be detected right now visibly, but nothing can see you. Okay. So you don't have to worry. Oh, so the light sources that you're putting in are yeah. sh showing me up mm -hmm. basically. Exactly. That's why. That's I why see. sneaking on a on a full moon uh, on a clear sky a full moon is harder than in you know when the when it's a. a crescent moon and it's overcast it's because mm. there's less light out there oh, that makes um, sense absolutely but yeah the stealth indicator is a combination of everything you're doing how much sound you're making how visible you are and will affect how far away a zombie can see you from right so what do we want to do with all the gear in the box when we move out tomorrow because obviously this is only an overnight stay uh is that do we just put it in there to, to get it together yeah pretty much okay that's the way I'm thinking of it. On that note, I'm going to drop off pretty much anything I have that I don't strictly need on me. Yeah. My tools. Um, my food. Oh, I don't even need that right now. My problem is I put my ammunition in the box. That was silly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I might want to take that back out. Yeah, and reload. Um, and any, any weapons that are your weapons. So, for example, the reinforced club, the, the shotgun shells, that kind of stuff. But with yeah. a pistol, you can leave the, the, the shotgun in them as well, and we can, we can ration that out. Right, I've got some skill points to spend, have you? I spent mine already. I, uh, I took a, a level in pack mule so that I had a little bit more space to carry things, because I knew we'd struggle. Yeah, um, it's a good call, actually. I'm going to do the same. And so that'll be more, eight more slots between us. Mm -hmm. And then I took... Uh, just a level in strength, so then I'll be able to take another level in pack mule when I level up again. Right, okay. So then I'll be able to carry quite a bit. Uh, Makes sense, because I want to do scavenging, so... I'm going to take a level of living off the land, I think. Mm. So that I can convert things into seeds right now. Yeah, that's a good idea. All your corn and things like that. Yeah, and the aloe especially, the yucca. Mm-hmm. Um, Right, I'm going to start converting these. So corn seeds. I could make corn meal, but I don't, really don't want to. I can get three seeds out of this uh, the 13 ears of corn that I have. 
Nice. Very nice. I can make seven chrysanthemum seeds. I don't think we quite need that many. Probably five is enough. And then the rest... Uh, I don't know. You, need, you might need to make a, yeah, a load of tea out of it. Oh, it's it's four per, actually. It's not five. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep eight so I can make eight chrysanthemum teas. Yay. And then I'll get one aloe vera seed. So, I, I'm so when one things shy. are planted in this game, do they... Um, when you harvest, do... Mm -hmm. Does it regrow, or are you pulling the yeah. plant out? It regrows. Always regrows, yeah. So oh, from nice one then. one um, uh, yucca plant, one uh, unlike the wild, which we completely gather and yeah. then it's gone, um, you'll get one item of harvest, but the plant will remain and it'll just start growing again. That's nice. Um, and if you if you try to harvest it before it's fully grown, you'll get the seed back. So you can move your farm. But uh, it's a slow process to build up your farm. Um, yeah. But it's worthwhile. Very worthwhile in my opinion. Especially if you um, build up your farming skill as well and get like yeah. several things off each plant. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to find somewhere that has water though. Because we are moving mm. well away from any kind of source of water, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah. Um... Additionally, I suspect that we should look to drop a new uh, waypoint here. A new bedroll here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use that other bedroll then that I got. I'm going to call this safe house. Safe house 2. There we go. And I would actually like to adjust temp home. The first one we had to if I select that I should be able to delete it. Uh, yes, and probably is gone. Because the thing is, if we've got all of these marked, then we can, um, if we find ourselves lost and near them, we can always use them later on. Yep, exactly. Right, so uh, should be enough. Plant fibers in there for us to make bed rolls. But you've already made one. Well done. I had to spare. Remember, I made an extra one. Oh, even yeah. though I had one, so I was like, yeah. "No, I will not make any more." Ha ha. Yeah. Well, well played. Well played. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'll be taking the candles when we leave. I might leave one of them though. Yeah, um, leaving one is kind of cool because then this place is a proper little safe house. Then. Yeah. I love the. <laughs> I love how atmospheric it is. It's just, just this, this howling wind outside. It's kind of quite cozy, isn't this... it? Yeah, you don't need to play this game nearly as uh, as cautiously as we are. But I've got to be honest, it's kind of cool. Bad one place. All right. Uh, well, it's we've only got about four minutes. Well, actually, no, maybe five minutes before yeah, daytime. Yeah. Have I got any more skill points to spend? I believe I do. Well, I might have used the last one. I think I've used all of mine. I'll double check. No, mine yeah. are all, all used, so we're yeah. good. My uh, living off the land is the last one I, I, mm -hmm. I had spent. I only get a couple of skill points for level four, I think. Yeah. Getting slow metabolism might not be a terrible one, though. We're, we're going through that fairly slowly anyway. Yeah, I mean, I th yeah. Does slow metabolism work for thirst as well as hunger? Is yeah, a, yeah, yeah. It yeah, might be good for just making you less thirsty, but uh, I think we'll be okay. We've got three bottles of water. I don't know if I've accidentally got your water, but I'll give it to you if you need it. I drank one water, so I don't have any more. So getting more would be very nice. I'll be honest. How, uh, is, how is your thirst? Is it above 90? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, my, my thirst is fine for the time being. Yeah. Completely fine. Like I say, we've um, got three bottles of water as well, so we're not badly off for drinks. I do apologise if you could hear me opening uh, my drink, because all of this talk about water... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Suddenly, I realised that I was dehydrated. Now, the nice thing with painkillers is that it increases your health and gives you damage mitigation, but it makes you super thirsty. Yeah. But it's 40 health instantly. It also makes you immune to stun. I'm back up to 80 pretty health. Pretty amazing. So that's good. In that regard. They're, they're crazy and they're good.
So this would give me 30 health, but it would also increase the max health. So you see the, um, talking about max health and the like, there's your maximum health. That That is the, the so taking a perk in Fortitude would give me 110 maximum health instead of 100. But you see how, uh, on my screen, obviously, uh, views on, on, in She Labs um, video won't necessarily see this, but my health bar has a curious black part to it. Mine it's got the, the grey part, well. which, uh, which that is my health. So the grey part will, will heal up, uh, sorry, the, the, the red health will fill up the grey part of the bar, but the black part represents, you know, just nasty wounds that they're not going to get better on their own. Unless you had particularly high levels of, fort of um, the uh, healing skill, level 3 means that you would gain one part back, so you, basically your nasty wounds naturally heal faster, or you use something which can increase your max health. A bandage will do that. Yeah, exactly. Just a basic four cotton bandage. Chilab, have you taken your weapons back out of the, the box? It no, looks like I'll do that now enough. before it gets to four o'clock. So I want a spare bone knife back, a reinforced club back, my ammo, shotgun shells. Now, there are a lot of reasons why you might want to situate your base closer to a trader than not. And that is, well, A, ease of, of access. You can go to the trader in the morning, sell off some stuff, get a quest, if you like, you know, so on and so forth. And then go out and do the quest, and then come back, and then uh, hand the quest in, in the very next morning. It, it's, it's super convenient. If you want to go a trade-heavy heavy route. And I actually quite enjoy doing the trader quest. They've added a, a lot to the game, in my opinion. Um, but the, there are other, other reasons why you might want to do it. Traders... Um, if a, a, an attack comes from the direction of the trader, they can't get through the trader, so they'll just bounce on the walls. Uh, but that's, uh, that doesn't offer as much protection as you might imagine, because the zombies aren't completely dumb. They will eventually go around it, but it can offer you a little bit of uh, a little bit of, of safety. Here. Sheila, will you please point that gun elsewhere? <laughs> my Sorry. Lord. Gun safety now. Okay, I'll I'm just I'll just bring out my, my knife. Um, yeah. Would you like to take all the stuff out of the storage that you want to carry with you, if you want to carry seeds or anything like that, and then I'll I'll take uh, as much sure. of the rest I'll, as I can. I'll grab a load of things. You may as well leave the land claim bar here. There's no yeah, they're no use, with. are they? Not in this sort of run uh, we're doing anyway. 